Hi, Cliff Grant Evaluators. Thank you for your work, and welcome to this tour of the Harvard University Peer Coaching Initiative. My name is Mark Raudebusch. I'm the project lead, and you'll see the faces of other team members, including a few new additions. Peer coaching, at its core, is listening practice. So let's start with some listening. That's the great Sonny Rollins showing that music is not just about making sound. It's also about making room for others, like uh, the great pianist Tommy Flanagan. Our proposition is that listening is like this negative space in music. It is fundamental to how people connect, how they converse, and how they form a sense of belonging. One of the most amazing things about Harvard as a school is the incredible diversity. But unfortunately, oftentimes it feels like people all assimilate to one common Harvard culture rather than being comfortable expressing more of their culture. You can't overstate the importance of a sense of belonging in a learning institution. I attended Harvard coming from a low-income, first-generation background and being a Black woman. So having all of these different kind of barriers, it was very important for me to find home at Harvard. Being listened to attentively by someone we experience as genuinely caring, understanding, and non-judgmental has been shown by researchers to shift our emotions into a more positive state and promote our ability to cope and learn. Each participant in the Peer Coaching Initiative learns to provide such a space so their partner can safely reflect on and digest their experience. Moreover, being on the receiving end of good listening helps participants to be more effective and empathetic when it's their turn to listen. Participants are also equipped with a map and other supports, and if they meet the standards of engagement, are acknowledged with a skills certificate. And part of the reason that we have such a large team for this project is that faculty and students from across the university are seeing the development of listening skills as a priority. I asked them on a scale of one to five, to what degree would a practice that helps students meet adaptive growth challenges and build their listening skills be relevant and worth prioritizing for the students that you're familiar with? So on a scale of one to five, I would say a five. Well, my answer to that is certainly a five. five. So I'd say five. It's a five. A five. A five would put it right up there at five. Or ten. If, if we could go higher than five, I'd go higher than five. Let's hear some of the reasons why. Imposter syndrome is something I have battled. I think that being a part of the Peer Coach Initiative allowed me the space to be real and to be vulnerable and to be flawed and to be human and speak with other students who were just as amazing, just as accomplished, but also going through just our own personal things. And so for me, it made me feel like, wow, these are my people. The other key piece is that when people join this group, they'll be able to see this is not a high time commitment, um, but very high value. The person who's actually speaking is also learning to listen to themselves at the very same time. Anything that hones the willingness in a growth mindset to improve with time is kind of at the core of the way we think about our PhD training programs. The other thing I love about this is it gets them engaging with one another cross boundary, which is gonna deepen their learning about people who are different than themselves. Mm. It's almost like the perfect soil for everything we're trying to do. We are growing vulnerable, adaptive, flexible, curious, impassioned, powerful, smart, successful leaders. I think it's exactly what we need. On behalf of the team, I want to say thank you to the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and Belonging. We've already learned a lot through this process. With your help and collaboration, we're ready to start our recruiting and design work and to secure additional support so we can run and learn from not only the fall pilot, but also the larger spring pilot program. As a final outcome of this project, we'll propose a resource plan and governance model for a stable and sustainable university-wide peer coaching initiative that could help create a resilient culture of listening and belonging at Harvard. Members of the Evaluation Committee, thank you for your attention. Please vote to support the Harvard University Peer Coaching Initiative.